Hello guys and welcome today I'm going to show you how to create an online marketplace using Shopify. First be sure to check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also $1 for one month one time deal. So without further ado let's get going. First you're going to go over here to the products section and here we're going to click on add product. Now we are going to start uh, filling out our products information for example I'm going to start with my MacBook Air and I'm going to copy our title and over here on the description section we are going to paste it right over here on generate text. We're going to click on generate and this way Shopify is going to use its built-in AI to create a description for us. Here we can either choose to generate a, a, a description again or just click here on keep to keep the one we already have. On media we're going to click on upload new and here we are going to select an image for our product. Below our product you can see that we have a category section. Now usually Shopify is going to choose a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct. On the right we're going to have our product type, vendor, collections and tax section. For collections make sure, make sure you add your product to your homepage collection and for tags we can put for example marketplace as one of our tax groups. You're gonna, you're gonna hit enter and here for our pricing let's say that I'm going to charge around 80,000 pesos for this MacBook and our cost per item is going to be around 50,000 pesos. This is going to give us a 30,000 pesos profit at a 37.5% margin of profit. For inventory I'm just going to uncheck this because we're not going to keep track of inventory and also here we have a, a weight section to which we in which we can assign weight to our product if we are going to do any kind of shipping. So once you are done we're going to go over here on save and we're going to save our first product. As you can see here I would have I would have my first product uploaded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add product again and I'm going to keep uploading all of the products of my online store. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done. As you can see guys here I have finished uploading all of my products. You see here that I have added a gold chain, a baggy t-shirt and also some adidas sneakers. So next we're going to go over here to our online store and we're going to start to customize it. First we're going to be able to change its theme, as you can see if we go down we are going to have a couple of free themes that Shopify is going to provide us with and if we click over here on visit theme store we are going to be redirected to the Shopify theme store where we are going to be able to see a lot more different themes. Some of these themes may better suit our website but for me I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. So back over here we are going to click here on customize and we are going to start customizing our website. As you can see here you, we are going to have a lot of different sections, each section is going to be outlined by this blue line once we select it and here oh, uh, on the top left the name of this section is going to be displayed. On our right we are going to have all the different options to customize our section. For example this is our image banner so if we click over here on select we are going to be able to select an image to be displayed as our banner. We are going to click on done and in one second as you can see the background of our banner is going to change. Now next I'm going to click over here on our heading and I'm going to put for example welcome to my online marketplace. As you can see the name right here is going to change, sorry the text. Now let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. We're going to go over here on our left where it says template, we're going to click on add a section and here we're going to have a lot of different options, we're going to have a featured collection, featured product, collections list, etc, etc. For me I'm just going to choose a featured product and as you can see a new section is going to appear right here at the bottom. We're going to click on it and here on the top right we're going to select a product to be displayed right over here. For example I'm going to choose my Adidas sneakers and as you can see they are going to be displayed right over here. Now let's say that we want to change uh, this section a little bit, for example we're going to change its color scheme, we're going to put a nice dark theme right over there. Now let's say that we have added a new section by mistake, for example I'm going to choose a featured collection. Uh, to make sure that we delete it we're going to make sure that we have the section selected and we're going to go over here on the bottom right to the remove section button, we're going to click it and as you can see this section is going to be removed. 
Now, uh, there are uh, many other things that we can do. We can, for example, add an, a section to our footer. Here we can add an email sign up, a custom liquid, and the same goes for our header. We can add over here a custom liquid or an announcement bar. Another very important thing about our header is that right over here our store's name is going to be displayed. So if we want to change it, what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes up until now. We are going to exit and here on the home page of Shopify we are going to click on name your store. Here we're going to choose a name for our store. For, for example, I'm just going to put online marketplace. Whoops, marketplace. And I'm going to save, save my changes. Next, we're going to go back to our online store and to make sure that everything is correct, we're going to click on the three dots and we're going to click on preview. This is going to redirect us to our website and as you can see, the name right over here on our header is going to be changed. We can scroll down to make sure that everything else is set up just the way we want. And once we are... Uh, once we are finished checking up our website, we are going to go back over here to go over the analytics and marketing section. Now this is going to be a really important section for us guys, because we are going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value, and many many other things such as for example which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers and a lot more information which is going to really help us manage our website and our business all from the same place. Lastly, I wanted to show you the discount section here. If we click on add a discount, I'm going to choose an amount of products. We are going to be able to customize our own products for our store. Here on, we are going to be able to choose the code for our discount. For example, I'm going to put marketplace 101 or we can just click over here and Shopify is going to generate a random code for us. Below it, we are going to be able to choose which kind of discount it's going to be, either a fixed amount or a percentage. I'm going to choose a percentage and it's going to be around a 10% discount. Below it, we're going to be able to choose which collections our discount is going to apply to. If we click on browse, for example, we're going to be able to select our homepage products. If we keep going down, you can, uh, you can see that we have further options to customize our discount, such as if we need any, any minimum purchase requirements for it, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, the combinations, and also here at the very bottom, if we click on set end date, we can choose an expiration date for our discount. For example, I'm going to choose the 28th. So now when we are done customizing our discount, we're going to click over here on save. And if we go back, we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, give to a friend, or just use however we would like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for 1 month one-time deal. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.